Well, the good advice and the practice are two different things. I think um, anytime you're responding to questions, you want to answer the question and you want to do it in a direct fashion. And if you can't, explain that you can't, um, but be genuine and honest and sincere and authentic and uh, um, try not to waste people's time. Try not to um, disguise or bluff or schmooze a response to a question. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you also got to bring a bit of yourself to any answer you give. Mm -hmm. um, the advice is always to be succinct and, and brief and direct. I think as human beings, we all bring our own vantage points, our own emotions, mm -hmm. our own perspective to questions when we're answering them and so sometimes that's easier than others um, I think you I think you have to as a public figure try and respond in a fair and authentic fashion to the questions you get and you know what I try to do as someone who um, again has to be sensitive to the fact that I'm not just representing my own persona, but something bigger than myself. In this case, as college president, um, the institution and its faculty and staff, its students, its alumni. I think, uh, I think, you know, trying to not bring emotion to those responses, um, trying to not assume motive in the question itself. Um, you know, you want to control your responses to your own agenda and your own uh, purpose for being involved in that interview, giving answers to those questions, but you want to do so being authentic and genuine to um, who's inquiring. So, um, you know, I find, I'm a, I'm a guidance counselor by trade, oh. and I find that when you bring emotion to any conversation, it stimulates more emotion. So I try and think of uh, an interview, adversarial or otherwise, as a conversation.